Unless you have been living under a rock, you have probably seen this formula. You will know what it does, but you probably don't know why it works. And that is what I am here to tell you today. Quick recap, this is a formula for differentiation. This will show you the rate of change of some function with respect to some variable. The proof I'm about to show you will hold true for any positive integer, and we are going to stick with full differentiation today. In order to prove why the general formula for differentiation equals this, we need to use the definition of differentiation from first principles. Of course, these formulas do not work in every single pure mathematical application. However, when we are using modeling, which the majority of people use differentiation for, particularly at university, this is what you will be using and will usually hold true. Proving why the power rule actually works for positive integers. Using the first principles definition, we're going to focus on x plus h to the power of n in order to prove the power rule. In order to prove this, we need to use something called the binomial theorem. If you've never studied pure maths, we'll take a little digression here. It shouldn't be too confusing because we're not using it too much. I just want to tell you why we have to use it. As we all know, if you take some number and square it, it equals a squared. But if you take a plus b and square it, it does not equal a squared plus b squared. You have this little term called 2ab. And basically, the binomial expansion is just a way that we can deal with this when the power isn't 2 and when a plus b are specific numbers or specific coefficients. This is is the formula for the binomial expansion. This should not be confusing you. I don't want to do that. That's not the aim of this video. The aim of this video is to demonstrate why you can use this to prove the power rule. Now, if we expand this out, so just take out k equals 0 and k equals 1 and leave the summation as it is for k equals 2 to n, you will see that the binomial expansion just shows that you can plug in k equals 0 here and you can get xn. You can plug k equals 1 into here and get n x to the n minus 1 h. And this is just the way the binomial expansion works. You times that term by n. Again, not important why it works, just important for you to understand this is what we need to do to simplify it down. And we subtract x to the n and divide by h. So by doing that, we end up with a really neat term n x to the n minus 1, and then summation from k equals 2 up until n. Now all we do is the same thing we do for differentiation from first principles. We let h tend to 0, which makes this whole summation term tend to 0. Therefore, differentiation equals n x to the n minus 1 quad erat demonstrandum, which just means that which was to be demonstrated in Latin. 